Beloved Masters, as you traverse the return path into the higher dimensional realms of existence known as the River of Light slash Life, or sometimes, the Rainbow Bridge of Cosmic Consciousness, the vibrational patterns within and around you are in a constant state of change. This has resulted in an ever-increasing expansion of consciousness, whereby the filters through which you view your world of reality, as well as the belief structures you have built around you, are gradually being replaced with higher, more empowering truths. The world you have created and those you interact with will always reflect back to you the beliefs and expectations you have accepted as your truth. In a painful or debilitating situation, there are always distorted or imbalanced beliefs and attachments which keep you imprisoned in a false, illusional reality. The beliefs which control many of your actions and reactions on a daily basis are slowly dissolving, and are being replaced with self-empowering concepts you are gradually accepting as your new version, vision, of reality. You are in the process of expanding your awareness of self, and you are developing a more focused, in-depth awareness of those with whom you interact and also of the realms beyond your present ability to see. You have often heard the saying that all is an illusion. This does not mean that everything that has been created in the physical realm of existence is not solid, does not have structure, or is not real. Nor does it mean that the higher realms are illusional with no tangible structure or definition. Every level of existence throughout this universe seems as real to those who reside there as your earthly home does to you. The Creator and its all-encompassing influence are most assuredly real, just as we are. The illusion is your perception of the world, a reality you view through filters of your own making, beliefs, structures, taboos and limitations you have encoded within your subconscious mind and have accepted as your truth. Everyone views the world and daily events through a veil of their own beliefs and a modified level of awareness. That is why many see everything through a filter of negativity while enlightened souls experience life through a filter of love and non-judgment. During these times of accelerated transformation, you are experiencing great changes both within and without. The membranes between the subconscious, conscious and superconscious minds are becoming thinner, thereby allowing you access to the subjective, self-limiting information you need to release and the distorted concepts you need to heal in order to return to balance within as you strive to reclaim self-mastery. The right and left hemispheres of your brain, as well as the matrix of your subconscious, conscious and superconscious are in the process of merging and returning to a unified state of super or macro consciousness. In many ways, the saying as it was in the beginning, so it will be once more applies to the transformational process humanity is now experiencing. Every observation via the physical senses that makes an impression on you, as well as every action, interaction, and reaction, is automatically transmitted and recorded within the memory cells of the subconscious mind. Again, we stress, your subconscious mind is subjective and takes every thought or experience literally, and is thereafter affected by your individual bias. The subconscious mind will continue to respond to and replay old thought patterns and conditions over and over again until the misconceptions are resolved and reprogrammed. Your third and fourth dimensional world is random and chaotic while the time-slash-space continuum of the higher fourth dimension and beyond is more flexible and fluid. As you integrate the vibrational patterns of the higher dimensions, all that is not compatible will rise to the surface for resolution, which results in higher wisdom. For those who have developed their inner sight, they know that thoughts are tangible things. They are aware that the quality or frequency patterns of a thought determine its color while the nature of an emotion determines the form it will take. The more focused and detailed a thought is, the clearer the outline will be. Thoughts of a low frequency level are dark, muddy, and distorted while the higher octaves of thought, those infused with love, are more delicate and luminous. You must accept the fact that your thoughts do have substance and that they do have an effect on you and the world around you. You must be willing to examine the preconceived ideas about the complex traditions slash structures slash boundaries of your life, and you must release or transform the beliefs which are keeping you stuck in self-inflicted structural limitations. Releasing attachments, outmoded habits and concepts is an ongoing process and requires constant vigilance and upgrading. We are aware that you have built comfort zones around you which are difficult to move beyond, even if they are uncomfortable and constrictive. But that is exactly what you must do, beloveds, 
if you are to expand and become the masters of co-creation you were meant to be. Letting go is liberating and gives you the power to expand your consciousness and your world. The higher your vibrational patterns become, the more fluid the restrictions around you become. Do not become attached to the structures of life you have built around you. You must realize that change is an integral part of growth. You make decisions and choices every day, and as a master becoming, it is imperative that you always strive for the highest choices. The boundaries of your spectrum of duality will become narrower, and the pendulum of choice will swing in a much smaller range to the right and left of center. As a result, your perception and conscious awareness will expand and be raised exponentially. A master always follows the narrow upward path is an ancient truth that still applies. You must always seek your highest truth and then live it to the best of your ability. It is important that you are aware that there is an orderly sequence to the cosmic cycles of creation which define and emphasize a great variety of godly expression. Therefore, it is important that you learn to flow and adapt to the changes of the time, to discard the restrictive, limiting beliefs of your third and fourth dimensional reality as you gain wisdom, seek higher truths and grow closer to your original state of divinity. We are in the midst of one of the greatest cycles of transformation that this universe has ever experienced, however, it is important that you understand that there have been many minor cycles of change on Earth, and each of you has experienced these transformational times in one way or another. The coming seventh root race will be highly evolved and spiritually attuned and will be influenced by the seventh ray of transformation, purification, freedom and redemption. Everyone and everything on earth will be affected by the radiance of the seventh ray, the violet transmuting flame. Many of the old, outmoded teachings are being discarded as you evolve in wisdom and raise your frequency patterns. The love-based and empowering religious beliefs will be retained, while the fear-based, controlling concepts are slowly being discarded. During the transition into the age of enlightenment, the religions that will survive are those which are willing to expand their philosophy to incorporate the revealed, higher creator truths. New cycles of being are initiated through a willingness to change and can gradually be incorporated with ease and grace. However, for those who are resistant, it will be through chaos and conflict. Much depends on your capacity to attract, respond, and absorb, or reject, and then transmit the more refined energies known as higher truth. Your soul and higher self remember the reason you chose to experience and express painful situations not as a punishment, but for resolution. It is vitally important that you strive to strengthen your self-determination and your desire for fulfillment. You must evolve from an ego-selfing mode to a soul-serving state. Your soul is the part of you which is connected to the universal whole. You gain compassion the hard way through pain and suffering, ego-driven or the easy way through the process of reunion with your higher self and God Ray, soul inspired. Nothing can escape the radiation and magnetic influence of the rarefied creator light slash adamantin particles now permeating this universe, sub-universe, galaxy, solar system, the earth and humanity. The chakras are like electromagnetic batteries within the body. The vibrations of electromagnetic frequencies communicate to many levels of consciousness. You must be harmonious with and attuned to the vibrational frequencies in order to integrate them. The higher frequencies of light slash thought slash sound vibrate through your blood, cells, organs, bones, muscles and tissues, enriching your sense of well-being. The lower frequencies of the third slash fourth dimensional environment restrict the flow of life-giving energy, and increase the density in your four lower body systems. Your blood carries genetic encodings of your earthly lineage, but more important, your cosmic lineage and your divine heritage. My beloved bearers of light, we ask you to view each test and challenge as an opportunity to release outmoded thoughts and vibrational patterns which no longer serve your greater good. We implore you to view your life experiences through the filters of your sacred heart slash mind as you draw forth the diamond ray particles of life slash light and infuse them with your love before radiating them out into the world and to humanity. We are all in this cosmic dance of evolution, and together, we shall prevail. I am Archangel Michael.